Guys, do yourself a favor and close your Binance futures trading account. <clears throat> okay, so while right now might be a good time to buy some cryptocurrency, and when I mean buy, like adding to the crypto you hold for long term investment, a lot of people have been trading futures for some time now, and um, I'm sorry to say they have lost a huge amount of money, I've lost as well. So right now is the time to just, you know, right now might be the time to acquire more crypto for long term holdings. And um, it's not all crypto that you can hold. Okay. So in this video, I'll go in depth on some of the crypto that you can hold. And um, before I start, kindly subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our educative videos on trading, investing and online business. And uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Okay. So, uh, looking at my private trading group, um, somebody has a question of recent. This is telling me that what should we do in this bearish market condition? So, the market has been going down for some time now, going down. And um, I realized that me personally i don't think we have entered a completely bearish market until probably bitcoin gets back to 20 dollars or 20 24000 dollars that's when i would now believe that okay maybe you should sell much of your audience because we are now in a complete bear market okay so i believe that the way the bitcoin price dropped you know it dropped so sharply and dropped by almost 50 percent i feel the way it dropped, we are still going up. Okay, that's just my own personal opinion. Uh, it's not a financial advice because uh, investing and trading is a process. So you need to consider so many things before you enter a position. So um, somebody has a question that is, what should we do in this bearish market condition? Is it advisable to trade XRP ETF, XRP 3L? So and I gave him a very simple answer: acquire more cryptocurrency, but don't trade leverage acquire more crypto for the long term so what are the crypto that you can uh, acquire so the first one is see acquire some bitcoin uh, for my own little analysis here i think we're going to see some upward movement from here i may be right i may be wrong but if you are holding for the long term it doesn't really matter but if you are trading futures based on some of this information i'm going to lose big i have lost big and the funny enough is that you know um, i'm not an active trader and I don't really, I'm not a fan of using high leverage. So even the one I lost big money was even using 3x and 5x. So it's so, so painful. So guys, and I was even buying the dip. Do you understand? So guys, you have got to be very, very careful here. Here is where you just add to your cryptocurrency bag and hold. Forget about uh, uh, futures or any leverage trading. And I'm here to help you. Uh, I've been able to see uh some info on binance there's this feature called cooling off period so binance has introduced a feature called cooling off period function and what does it allow you to do it allows you to what cool off from the futures market especially if you have lost much so i'll be going to uh you can do it on your web when you log into your web browser okay so let me go to the web browser and show you what this feature is all about the cool off period so um <clears throat> come to come to come to uh your features come to come here derivatives click on usdt m features once it's open click on settings click on cool off period uh then disable features related trading functions yes so uh for how many so you can do it for a week or a month you can do it today a week or a month so uh let me disable features for a week and confirm you won't be able to turn it on back can you understand so once you click on disable for a week you won't be able to turn it on back okay so guys you can uh give it a trial you can give it a trial but i'll need to send some of the funds uh i have some little little funds you know uh, i trade features sometimes apparently not every day but sometimes with little little capital so i have some little capital that i'll need to remove for me before i now click on um um disable my features trading for a week so guys you can let me even click confirm now <laughs> just that 
I won't be able to even transfer those funds out. See you guys. So those funds can be there. Okay. So those funds can be there, guys. So that's it. Trade for building due to clean up period. So my clean up period have been activated, as you can see here, yeah? and I won't be able to trade features for a week. So guys, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, let's now look at some of the coins that you can buy on the spot market. So uh, I think you can buy some Bitcoin. I think you can buy some TWT. I sent that to my group yes yesterday. TWT USD. And um, anything you're buying here is long-term holdings, eh, guys? So let me go to a daily time frame. So look, look at the TWT chart. Even without doing any analysis, hmm? it's a good buy for long-term holding. You know. Started from me, went to as high as this, I, I sold, then came to as low as this again. So this is a good time to buy some for long term audience. Okay? Let's look at some other coins. Uh let's look at Bitcoin Cash. You know, I like Bitcoin Cash. I promote it a lot. So um it's also a good time to you know hold some for long term audience. Let's look at XVG uh XVG rules. It's crashed to as low as this. I think I started buying here. Start rising back. Um, what other coins can you hold? What other coins can you hold? Um, let's look at BM. Okay, sorry. Um, let's check some other coins. Let's look at RSR. I saw RSR now. Okay, let's look at EOS. So let's look at EOS. So EOS is also another coin that you can check out. It's currently above the 200 day moving average. This our turn this black line is our 200 day moving average. It's currently above it, so you can hold some for long term holdings. So a lot of coins like that that you can also you know hold for long term holdings. But forget about okay, yeah. So but forget about uh, futures trading for now or using leverage. You understand? Just forget about it, guys. So that's it on using this video. Um, if you have any question, kindly put it down in the comment section below. And I would like you to also share some of your future trading experience with me. Have you been making money or have you been losing money? Just share with me in the, in the comment section below. And um, before you leave, kindly subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our educative videos on trading, investing, and online business. And until next time, keep learning. Bye.